Kong, they wanted a car where a blind person makes active decision and actually drive the car. And how do you do that? A blind person driving a car doesn't make sense? I called all my other colleagues from different universities and research labs. They say, oh, that's, that's impossible. How can you make a blind person drive a car? No, no, don't waste your time, don't do it. Other people say, why are you trying to do this project? This, you can't make money out of this. Forget it, don't do it. And even other people said, blind person, they, they should be at home, they shouldn't be on the streets. No, don't do it. And I was really, uh, you know, I was confused. But I thought this is gonna be very interesting, challenging, and has a meaning, so I decided to give it a try. So we didn't have money, so we only had $5,000. So I went on eBay, I bid it on a small dune buggy. I called different uh, places to get a donation from sensor and computing platform, and we made a very quick prototype. And one day in 2010, uh, I, I uh, invited two friends from the National Federation of Blind who are complete uh, blind, and they drove this car. It's a very simple car that only w works in a uh, very structured parking lot. But that day changed my life. What I saw when I, when, I, when I saw this picture, this is the most beautiful smile I've ever seen in my life. He's blind, and this is the first time he's driving. Look at his face. The, the joy and happiness, can you actually feel it from that? And when I saw this, I thought, if I can make this one person this happy, if I actually make this a success and a real product, then I can change. I can make all the blind people give them happiness, give them freedom and independence, and that become my lifetime mission. So uh, again, this project, this doom bug is very limited. It can only work in this, uh, this, this kind of environment, but our goal is to really make a real one. It's been on the big news on the first page of Washington Post. It's been on covers of magazines and TV. But this was our goal. I wanted to build a real car that a blind person can actually drive on the real roads. And finally, in 2011, January 29th, we had our first public demonstration at the famous Daytona International Speedway at the Rolex 24 racing event and the opening ceremony. Let me show you a quick video and I'll end my talk over here. So this is Mark Riccobono. He was blind since birth. And Mark is driving this car. This is not an autonomous car. He's making active, active decisions and he's driving. He's coming up to the grandstand, fellow Federation. So if it looks too simple, we're giving him a little bit more challenge. There's a car in front of it, and now we're going to be throwing obstacles at him. We're going to throw him, uh, throw boxes at him and see how he does. He does. He passes it on the right. Third box is out. The fourth box is out. And he's perfectly making his way between the two. Now, if you think this is simple, we also try to make him pass that vehicle. And this is, you understand how difficult this is. And he's actually passing the vehicle. Dynamic display of capacity and ingenuity. He's approaching the end of the run. Makes his way in between the barrels that are set up there. Mark's gonna give me a ride back to the hotel, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we have succeeded in this project. And uh, again, it's a little bit kind of embarrassing to say that, but that day I, I really cried a lot. Um, so I'm a professor. I teach in the in the classroom. I'm I'm a researcher. I develop new robotics technology. I give talks. I publish papers. But I really never understood that my work can really have an impact on society. I knew it from my head, but I never really felt it. But that day changed my life. So again, I didn't have time to tell, show you all my other work, but all of our work is really to do that, to give happiness to people, to help the society, to change the world, to make this world a really better place. It might sound naive, but that's really what I'm doing. The DARPA challenge robot, the disaster relief robots, to save people's life, to save humanity. Cars for the blind and different type of user interface technology to have people access information, to give them freedom and independence. We have all different type of things to help the construction workers and different type of things, and that's what we're doing, and that's my mission. So everybody in this uh, room, you're doing your work in autonom uh, autonomous industry, that's what you're doing too. You're developing new cars, new technology to help people better access to different places and give them happiness. So I also thank you, and I hope you join my mission to change the world together. So I'll stop my talk over here. With one more last picture. So this.